This interlocking clay brick that was slip cast can absorb traffic noise, but the shape isn't easily 3D printable. So I redesigned the front surface to take advantage of the process with additive manufacturing to make the base surface flat and not having any steep overhangs. So that way, no support material is necessary. Will this still work to absorb noise as a Hemholtz resonator? Well, after reading your comments, some people thought that the neck would be easily broken. So by inverting it to be shaped inside the brick does two things. First, it keeps the front surface flush. So since the neck isn't exposed, then it's better protected. It will also be more difficult for rain to get in, yet still let birds make homes in them. And the second benefit is by making the front surface completely flat is that it can be a great base level for the first layer to be 3D printed. All of the complexity of the neck can be incorporated into the print without having to remove support material. So I gave this a small test print and in theory, a Hemholtz resonator should work if the neck is external or inverted, but there's only one way to find out. Nice, Hermann von Hemholtz is still correct. Now the pitch will change because the volume of space in the cavity has decreased because the neck has taken up that area, but that just means we have to make the bricks bigger. I'm thinking it would be cool to still make these in clay, but also cement or even other materials, possibly a wood filled filament. Let me know if you have any other ideas in the comments. And thanks for continuing to share this content and being so supportive on this crazy journey. I never thought this master's thesis project would take off like it did, but let's keep it going and see what else it forms into. And as with the previous brick, keeping with the open source theme, I put this online for free so anyone can download and 3D print it. Enjoy it and keep on making.